Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to get money from Samro from your live performances? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro. What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I do have other videos that I think you'd find informative. In this video, I plan on showing you exactly how I went about collecting royalties from my live performances. So yes, you heard right, I was able to collect performance royalties from performing live. Let me give you a basic scenario. Back in 2018, I performed at the Grahamstown Arts Festival. Actually, it's called the National Arts Festival. And at the National Arts Festival, I performed about six times. Knowing that I performed at a live event, I went onto the Samuel portal and I registered my works. My works were already registered. And then once I had performed, I had to notify Samuel of the exact performances that I made. And once that was done, I was able to collect royalties. The weird part is I performed in roughly July in 2018, but only received the royalties on the 11th of April, which is weird because it was a long period of time. How do I know this? Samro sends a distribution statement telling you exactly where you earned the money and the money I received was part of the live sequence. So I'm gonna head over to my PC to show you exactly how to set up a notification of works or actually a notification of performances. I'm gonna skip the notification of works because I've done several videos like that. I'll leave a link to the video where I do the notification of works in the description below. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to notify Samra of a performance. Now, I didn't make a lot of money off of it because as some of you know, I'm not mainly a performer. The main thing I do is teach people and I make production beats. So that is my main form of income, but I do perform every once in a while. So I was able to notify Samro. So I'm gonna head over to my PC to show you exactly exactly how to notify Samuel of your performances, whether they are local, whether they are abroad. What's up? So the very first thing you're going to do is head over to the Samro portal. So you're going to portal.samro.org.za. You sign into the portal. I've done a tutorial on how to get this done. I'll leave the description in the bio. And then on the left hand side on the new portal, you realize that there's a part called my music and my performances. This will not work if you haven't notified Samro of your music. So the very first thing you have to have sorted out is in the notification of works. You can notify your works on this on the actual portal with new notification, but I'm not gonna go in detail on that as I've done the tutorial before. So I want you to go to my performances. And then when it's written over here with the my performances, there's a set of different tabs that you can collect. So. The very first thing that you need to do is have a live repertoire. Obviously, you can't tell them anything without them without having a repertoire. So the live repertoire, you click over here. And then once you are in the live repertoire, you can create a repertoire item. So let's click on the repertoire item. And then over here, you add basically you notifying some of the songs that you perform live because there are some songs you will not be performing live because of the type of performances that you are unfortunate or fortunate enough to have so you have to manually add again basically that the notification works so you add a song let me actually add a song a recently made song of mine um so hard on his rights i own 100 percent of that and then the original artist is skill music SA. And then you add titles. So I've added so hard. As you can see, there it is at the bottom. Okay. And then the next thing you have to do now is create a set list. Now, set list is going to change every single time depending on where you are currently. So you go to set list. And our set list is typically the sequence of songs that you perform. So uh, it's busy trying to upload the last one. So when I was performing in Grandstown, I had a set list for jumped. Um, I had a show that I called Keys, Points of Order and Rap set list. This was basically what I was playing every time when I was performing in Grandstown. So I'm not going to use that right now. I'm going to make a new set list. You can delete it later, but I'm not going to do that now. So I'm going to add a new set list. So they give you an example, summer awards performance. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say Island Irish pub performances. The nice thing about Ireland, all the pubs have licenses. So if I do perform in Ireland, I am entitled to performance royalty, but 
anyway i digress yes i'm an island so i'm going to create the set list and then it tells you which songs you must add so uh hot me i think i might have performed actually hot me where the heck is i like chicken i've performed i feel it it's a pity he was i have performed here too and then long ago i have not performed let me actually change this to 20. Ah, there's actually a glitch in the set list because you can't scroll down. It stays there. But anyway, you can search the song that you want. Uh, so hard. Okay. Um, long ago. Six items. That's typically what I perform anyway. And then you click over your add selected titles to set list. So they are Irish pub performances created today. You can click on details to see what songs are included. And I'm just going to use that for now. Okay, now you've created a set list. So you've done two things. You've added all the songs that you perform live. You created a set list, which is a group of the songs that you perform. Now that you've actually performed, you have to tell Samro where you performed. So you went to live repertoire set list. So now you have to report live performances. Okay. And now you literally fill in as you go. So the performer's name is Scale Music SA. The date of the performance. Oh, COVID-19 is killing us. Uh, can't remember when that was. You click on the date foreign performance or not it's different you get paid differently depending on where you perform so technically i should say it's a different performance i'm just not going to submit this actually so let me just do it for the south african context um port elizabeth a venue in port elizabeth is the boardwalk the boardwalk uh the event of the name the event, typically you have to have an event for them to start paying you because events tend to have licenses for performances, public performances. So I'm going to say the name of the event was the Women's High Tea. Do other performance artists perform? You can say yes or no. It depends on that. Organizer's name. You also add the, the organizer's name. So the tricky part is having all this information and then the type of payment that you got. So if you've got some money, you get less money from, you get less money because technically they've paid you some way. I think they kind of off cut it, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. So don't quote me on it. Okay. Live performance details. So, so then you go next. Okay. And now add titles, add titles to performance, add repertoire, or you can quickly add a new title. So you typically just want to click on the set list. This will save you time in the future, especially if you perform in the same set of songs every time. You click on the set list and then you add selected set list. Boom, there are the six tracks. You can also add a new title after this, after the fact, but I tend to not do it like this. And then you can also add titles from the repertoire, which is, trust me, always do the set list. It'll save you a lot of time especially if you're one of those performers that's performing a lot. You can also chop and change, remove things, especially if you did not perform and try not lie, be as accurate as possible, and then click on the next step. And then in the next step, they give you an overview of everything that you put in there. As you can see, everything is in there, but I'm not gonna report this now. And then once you've done that, you click on submit and you send it through. I did this for my last uh, local performance. I performed at the Grandstown Arts Festival. I organized um, performances there and I filled out the same thing. And then in there, it sh I performed six times at the Grandstown Festival. I highly suggest performing less times. <laughs> in two weeks, I performed six times. It's not that hectic, but your, your voice tends to get tired, especially if you are singing as well. So these were the six performances that I had in Grahamstown at the National Arts Festival. The key thing that I found out is the event name is very important. While my specific show was called Keys Points of Order and Rap, 
they don't have that readily available on their system. So you want to add something readily available. So that's why I changed it for the last two to National Arts Festival. And then you put the city, you put in the location, and then this links very well. You can click on details to see which songs you perform just in case you forgot. And then as you can see, I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight songs selected in there. It takes some time for them to be able to send you to send you the information that you want all the royalties for it it took me a year and a half to actually get the royalties from these performances as you can see this was done in 20 2018 and i notified them uh like performances like this is when they were performed but i notified them like in july or something like that um no I notified them in July. I just want to try find my distribution so you don't think I'm actually just making this up because they I've never received royalty in the middle of April before, so I was kind of confused. And then Samro tends to send you um, a distribution statement every time you make royalties. And from that, you can actually see how much you made, where you made. But the key thing is when you get it, it's to actually check for errors. Um, there was a there was an episode on carte blanche and the gentleman in this explicitly said it's up to the artist to double check and to be fair i actually agree because it's not his or samuel's royalties they are your royalties and if you're not double checking and making sure that you're getting what's yours then you have no one to blame but you you know let me see if there's any incriminating uh, evidence there oh yeah no nothing incriminating so this is basically wasn't a lot of money as i told you i only performed six times and then only seven works but this is the breakdown that they show you don't worry about the money too much the money don't get you anywhere but this is where you, it shows that i actually got it from the live sequence and these are the songs that i notified and if you can check it's one two three four five six seven songs this one co-wrote my older brother actually wrote this one so that's why the percentage is 75 but the main thing is from six performances, I was able to get that amount of money. And I actually didn't get paid from that event. Well, I did get tickets. I did sell tickets. Actually, I forgot about that part. Um, but the, what, I, what I was looking for is how do you know that it's from the live and I'm not making this up over here. Live sequence number one. But what you have to always double check is the usage. And as I told you, I've performed six times, not two times. So this number has to change. And then you count the number of tracks on there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven songs on there. But then if you look at, if you look at, hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. If you look at the local performances, be that as it may, if it's only used twice and they're only counting from July of 2018, the number of songs that are there seven but we are one two three four five six seven eight songs so there's one song that's not accounted for and that is this song if you compare it i hope you found this information really informative and um that actually concludes it that concludes this episode where i showed you exactly how to send your notification of performance to samro i hope you found this video informative and if you did please hit the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you see there's a bell there next to the subscribe i'd highly appreciate it if you hit that bell so you know exactly when i'm releasing music if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments below otherwise you can hit me up on WhatsApp, my number is in the description below. But that concludes this video. And until next time, skilligan the hooligan.